Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. This is a 24 by 24 inch called Current. And my colors, that's kind of a greenish, bluish gray. That is Prussian blue mixed with Payne's gray, kind of a staple in my studio. Um, this is kind of a beigey color, a little bit of champagne by DecoArt with some white and yellow. And that is Arteza Cerulean Blue. And I mixed in some Golden Fluids Turquoise. It's Modern Masters uh, Iridescent and Rich Gold combined. That is Modern Masters Orange, and I mixed in Nicolazzo Gold. And that's kind of a nice Jenkins Green by Golden mixed with some um, Permanent Green by Dick Blick. Actually, that's the Modern Masters. I'm sorry, the other one was uh, 24 Karat. And then that is a nice violet color. And then that's Modern Masters Brass. I have a lot of ma Modern Masters paint right now. So um, I'll tell you guys what I'm doing today. These are leftover paints. Um, and that's just some leftover paint um, that I'm gonna use as a flow extender. And it was just a really nice kind of cohesive color uh, with the palette. So I'm gonna do a good old school just flip cup. Um, and what this is, is it's a painting that's gonna complement a pair of paintings called Ponderé. So it's going to the same client and Ponderé, you're gonna see it this weekend. Um, it has a lot of negative space. And so this is gonna kind of go on the opposite side of the room just to kind of accent and complement that painting. And I'm just kind of layering everything in. Um, I did put my more uh, transparent paints at the bottom and then I put the gold at the top because I want it to kind of sell up through the paint. Uh, so there's my cup and that's an 18 ounce cup of paint. It's not quite full. So I love doing this type of painting. Um, especially on this size canvas. I think it, it just makes for a really pretty uh, fluid piece of artwork, in, especially in this space. It's a, it's a house on the water, so at current, it kind of reminded me of the movement. Um, and then also that color, there's a few reasons I named it current. There's that kind of red burgundy wine color in there reminded me of a current. So... Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna basically flip the cup, put the flow extender around the outside. And before I tilt it, what I actually end up doing is taking a little bit of the Amsterdam formula, which is one part Amsterdam titanium white mixed with three parts Floetrol. And I sort of add a little bit of white lacing in certain areas of the puddle of, of the paint before I stretch it out. And I think it added some kind of interesting dynamic it's subtle, but that's what I wanted. Um, just a little bit of this kind of lightning white in certain areas of the painting. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, this is kind of back to the style of painting that I was doing a lot before. And after these are done, I'm coming back to my pearl and cloud over paintings. Um, I just really needed a little bit different technique to get th this particular job done so sometimes that's how it goes as an artist uh, you have to change gears to kind of suit the task at hand um, and that was definitely the case and I'll tell you one little thing that I did with all these colored paints is I added in just a blob a good little scoop of uh, verithane triple thick polyurethane and it's uh, an ingredient that a lot of people use in like the bloom technique and I had some of it in my studio because I oh I just wanted to show you an up close because it was so pretty before I tilted it I mean it's pretty afterwards but sometimes it looks like a tree I'm like can I just leave it like this <laughs> it would dry and crack it would not work uh, anyhow yeah and I'll list sort of the ingredients. I basically took my same puddle pour paints that were really thin, and then I added in that polyurethane, the verithane, just to thicken them up for this, um, for this technique. So yeah, I really enjoyed working with these consistencies. I'll probably continue on and kind of 
go back and forth between this technique and then the cloud over pearl technique because I love both of them. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you can just see my, my new stuff as it comes out. And much love to everybody who's watching. I, I can't tell you how wonderful it feels to be bringing creative energy into the world at any level. So it's, uh, it's my whole heart that you guys are seeing. And um, yeah, just take really great care. And spring is coming. I'm so excited. I can feel it in the air. New energy. Um, yeah, have a beautiful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.
If you keep things open, if you love all of me, then you let me be free. If you love me, then you let me be free. If you love me, yeah. I know this is driven by jealousy. But my soul is nothing you own, no I want us to love unconditionally mm -hmm. It means that I'm not yours alone, no, no, no My heart's like an ocean It's deep and it's open The one thing I promise Let's be honest, eternal devotion If we keep things open, if you love all of me Then you let me be free If you love me Then you let me be free If you love me Could anyone believe they can own another? Isn't that a bit naive to think you want each other? How could anyone believe they can own another? Isn't that a bit naive to think you want each other? Yeah. My heart's like an ocean, it's deep and it's open. The one thing I promise, I always be honest. It cannot be potion. If we keep things open, if you love all of me, then you let me be free. If you love me, then you let me be free. If you love me, oh yeah.